In this video, I will show you how to create a web app that includes a data entry form to create, read, update, and delete records in Google Sheets. To get started, you will need to go to the link in the description of this video and open the article. Once you have the article open, scroll down until you find the link for Google Apps Script. Click the Apps Script link to open it. Next, go to the Overview section. Click on the copy icon to copy the app script to your Google Drive. Return to the article and click on the Google Sheets link to open it. Go to the File menu and select Make a copy to copy the Google Sheet to your drive. This is the sheet where your data will be stored. Then copy the Google Sheets ID. Once you have the ID, go back to the Google Apps script and replace the Sheet ID with the new ID. Now, it's time to deploy the web app. Click Deploy and select New Deployment. For the Execute As field, select your email address. For the Who Has Access field, select anyone to allow everyone on the internet to access this web app. Click Deploy. Once you click Deploy, it will ask you to authorize access to your data to run it on your account. Click Authorize Access. Choose your email address and continue. Click Advanced, and then click the link with your app script name. Click Allow. Now click the web app URL to access it. Finally, you can submit some data to test the web app. Once you submit the data, it will be added to the Google Sheet and the same will be appended to the HTML table at the right. Users can use the Edit button to populate the form with the data in the relevant row. Then, they can make necessary changes and submit the form to update the record. The records can be deleted using the Delete button in the relevant row. Users can use the search bar to search for records in the datasheet. The table is set to populate with the last 10 records in the datasheet. Users can use the Get All Data button to display all the data in the datasheet. Let's explore how you can customize this web app. First, you'll need to create a test deployment for the app. To do this, Navigate to Deploy and select Test Deployments. Then, click on the web app URL to access it. Test Deployment in Google Apps Script enables developers to create temporary versions of their scripts for testing and evaluation. By using this URL, you can observe the effects of any code modifications you've made by simply refreshing the web app. Let's create a new text field to capture the product color. First, go to formproductdetails.html file. To expedite the process, we can duplicate an existing text field, such as the one used for the product name. Simply replace the string name with product color.
and update the label accordingly. Don't forget to save the project. Next, navigate to the test deployment and refresh the page. You will notice that the new field has been successfully added to the form. Let's navigate to the Google Sheet and create a new column to store the product color information. As a result, our data range has changed, and the last column is now column J. To reflect these changes, you need to update the data range and last column variables in the code.js file accordingly. And also update the process form function to include the newly added product color field. Let's refresh the web app to apply the changes. Now, let's try submitting some test records to see how it works. You'll notice that the record is successfully submitted, and a new entry is created in the Google Sheets and appended to the HTML table. However, you may have also noticed that one column of the HTML table appears to be shifted. To fix this, you'll need to add the new product color column to the HTML table. To do this, Navigate to the javascript.html file and add a new table heading with the name product color. In this example, we have hidden the ID and description columns from the HTML table using the code found under the create table function in the javascript.html file. We have referred to these columns using their respective column indices. However, with the recent addition of the new product color column, the column index of the description column has changed from 2 to 3. Therefore, you'll need to update the column index for description as well. Save the project and refresh the web app to see the changes. We're almost done. But there's one more thing we need to do. If you click the edit button right now, it won't populate the form correctly. To fix this, let's go back to the javascript.html file. In the populate form function, we need to add the product color field. We also need to update the array indexes of each field accordingly. Save the project and refresh the web app. Now, when you click the edit button, you will notice that the form populates correctly. Make some changes to the records and submit them to verify that everything is functioning as expected. There is no need to modify the delete button, the search field, or the get all data button, as they should continue to work as intended. If you wish to unhide the hidden columns, you can do so by removing the corresponding code sections within the create table function in the javascript.html file.
Thank you for watching.